Hello there everyone, today I wanted to talk about something that I think is a very interesting topic that I don't think has really been covered uh, that much in the fandom, uh, and that is covering the two different publishers uh, that we have for Star Wars books and comparing them, contrasting them, and deciding which I prefer. Uh, now, this is a hard question to answer and I expect that this will be highly subjective mixed with uh, nostalgia uh, for a lot of people, but uh, it's something I wanted to cover nonetheless, and that is, uh, which Star Wars book publisher was better? Bantam? Or Del Rey? Uh, both of these were publishers for Star Wars books, uh, and uh, in different times, and both of them published numerous Star Wars books, um, with Bantam having their books published from 1991 to 1999, and Del Rey having published their books from 1978 to 1983, and then again from 1999 to 2014 for Expanded Universe books. Del Rey continued uh, for the current continuity as well. Uh, and I think that both publishers, well, first of all, both publishers have published some phenomenal books under them. And both publishers have also published some that are maybe not so good as well. Uh, I think that in deciding which is best, there is one determining factor that I would put above all else, and that is content output. Uh, so that would be my first point. And uh, Bantam put out 43 novels in their entire release. Delray put out 111. So that is more than double uh, what Bantam put out uh, that Delray released for their line of Star Wars books. And... I think that that is an important distinguishing factor because when you have more content, it's harder to rank something against it because of just how much more having more is able to do, right? Uh, with more story, you can develop characters longer, develop stories longer, uh, have more hits. Uh, statistically, you're going to be more likely to have that with more stories, it seems like. Uh, so I'd say that that is big points in Delray's favor. Uh, now, that being said, there's some important points going for Bantam as well. Uh, when Star Wars was really dwindling, you know, the dark times of the 80s, like only West End Games was putting out content, and Star Wars was like fading away from the public eye, right? It, it was on the way out, kind of, in many, many ways, perhaps already out for some people. And then along came uh, Timothy Zahn's Heir to the Empire, published by Bantam Spectra, blew up, huge deal revitalized Star Wars, re-energized Star Wars, and really kickstarted the Expanded Universe. Yes, there's a lot of Expanded Universe content prior to Heir to the Empire, but Heir to the Empire is credited as being like this Kickstarter for the Expanded Universe. Uh, Bantam also has another key thing going for it, and, and that is nostalgia. Uh, there's a lot of people who grew up uh, on the Bantam books in the 90s when they were coming out. The Thrawn trilogy, the X-Wing books, the Jedi Academy trilogy, Hand of Thrawn duology, Trusip Bakura, uh, The Courtship of Princess Leia. All of these titles are very important to a lot of people because they grew up with them. Uh, and in that regard, we are humans in, nat in our nature. We are a very nostalgic people. We yearn for good times where uh, we enjoyed stuff. And a lot of people really enjoyed the Bantam books when they were coming out. I mean, the Thrawn trilogy is amazing, obviously. The Thrawn trilogy is probably a very uh, important piece uh, for people who would argue that Bantam is better than Del Rey. Um, but on the flip side of that coin, uh, we also have, uh, as, as I have this copy, New Jedi Order. New Jedi Order was huge. It was huge. Uh, and it is regarded by many as the best of the expanded universe. Uh, the New Jedi Order alone carries a lot of weight as well. So, for as much as the Thrawn trilogy is going to support Bantam as being the better Star Wars publisher, Delray's New Jedi Order is going to do the same. Uh, now, something else that's worth noting is that both of these publishers do fall under a parent branch uh, of book publishers. They're both under uh, Random House, which I believe you will see uh, somewhere on these. It'll say that. Yeah, uh... Delray is part of the Random House Publishing Group. 
And likewise, Bantam as well is a part of the Random House publication uh, as well as an imprint of that. So both of these have the same parent company, Bantam and Delray, but I think it's uh, fun to perhaps contrast uh, these stories back and forth. Now, another detail that I wanted to highlight uh, that is, is points for Delray uh, would be that uh, Bantam really stuck to one era. That's what it did. And they're very fun stories, but a lot of it is the gang fighting the Empire over and over again, with exceptions. The Sea Rook come in there. Uh, the Black Fleet Crisis obviously does not deal with the Empire uh, as, as the main villain. Um, and, and there are some differences in stories, but there's a lot of just New Republic fighting against the Empire, uh, and it's all sticking to one area. So while there is a lot of nostalgia for that era of those books, and they are very good, I'm a big fan of them, they are somewhat formulaic and stick to their era. Um, so they're somewhat the same. Whereas Delray was willing to take more risks, it seems like. Delray went 25,000 years into the past with Dawn of the Jedi into the Void, filled it out with Old Republic, Lost Tribe of the Sith, these ancient stories, Darth Bane, covered the prequel era, covered the OT era, even had some stuff published that fit chronologically in between Bantam books in the uh, New Republic era, uh, and goes beyond with New Jedi Order, Legacy of the Force, Fate of the Jedi Crucible. So, and uh, they also were willing to, um, as well, uh, experiment with style. We have Kenobi, which is for all intents and purposes a western in Star Wars. We have Death Troopers and Red Harvest, which are horror. We have Shadow Games and Maul Lockdown, which is thriller. So we have more differences tonally with these books as well, uh, which would be points for Del Rey. So in addition to having more content for it, having New Jedi Order as a part of its lineup, which is a, a big plus at least for me, and exploring a lot of different eras with a lot of different styles, that's why I think I prefer Del Rey over Bantam. I don't know if this is controversial to say, and I definitely think this will be a subjective take, uh, but I think it's an interesting topic to discuss, and I would love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments. Do you prefer Bantam or Del Rey, and why? Uh, both of these publishers did an incredible job, that is for sure. Uh, Bantam has some incredible works in their lineup. Uh, like, I'm even a big Crystal Star fan uh, as well. It's, it's, it's good stuff. Del Rey has some great stuff in its lineup as well, like New Jedi Order, as I've mentioned. Um, so solid. So solid. Uh, and other works like Darth Plagueis that I love, Darth Bane, uh, Shadow Games. I do enjoy Joe Schreiber's works in Del Rey as well. Uh, there is a lot of great stuff in the Del Rey books. But as a caveat to that, um, Bantam is really good in that it established so much for the universe. Like I said, the Thrawn trilogy is credited as kickstarting. Uh, the expanding universe, uh, revitalizing interest in Star Wars that was rapidly being lost at the time. So because of that, a lot of what Del Rey is goes back to the Thrawn trilogy and owes a lot of what they were able to do to Bantam. Uh, but aside from that, I think Del Rey just did more with it. Uh, and although they built on what was already established by Bantam, uh, they, they went beyond uh, they, they went above and beyond in their publishing. Uh, New Jedi Order takes pretty much everything, all these references, all these characters, all these storylines from Bantam and continues to build on it. Do you know how crazy that is? When Bantam shifted uh, over the rights to Del Rey, how easy could it have been for them to publish Star Wars books ignoring Bantam continuity? It wouldn't have been well received, obviously, by the fan base, as we, we now know because of the 2014 reboot of continuity. That's uh, reboots of continuity or wipings of slates are not that well received, um, but it would have been the easy thing to do perhaps for Del Rey, right, uh, to write their own stories. But instead they went out of their way to build upon everything that the Bantam novels had already built. Uh, and I think that is really, really cool that they were able to share continuity and a pretty seamless transition and crossover too. Uh, the ambition of the New Jedi Order, a 19-book series, uh, is incredible. It's incredible. And that is why I think that Del Rey uh, takes, takes the crown for me. That's why I think I prefer the Del Rey publishing to the Bantam publishing. But obviously, 
Uh, I'm a greedy guy, and I like both. Uh, I love both. Bantam and Del Rey both did an incredible job uh, with the Star Wars license with their novels. But I think I give an edge to Del Rey simply because there is more content, so there's more stuff to love. Uh, they went to more eras, so there's more stuff to explore. And they gave us New Jedi Order, as I've said. But I think a lot of people in the comments uh, might end up choosing Bantam, and that's due to the uh, nostalgia for it, I would argue. Uh, probably uh, it's going to be nostalgia uh, contributed, but uh, I wish that I could have had nostalgia for Bantam. I wish I could have grown up with these books coming out. Wouldn't that have been absolutely amazing? But uh, since I'm a newer fan and a young fan, uh, I don't have the same nostalgia. So when, when I went into all of these books, uh, Delray and Bantam were both on an even playing field. Uh, there wasn't like an era where they were coming out where uh, like I was a kid reading them or I was a teenager reading them. Uh, so I have fondness for both of them. I love both of them. But I just see that Delray is my winner personally. But if you choose Bantam, there's some great stuff going for Bantam too, like I've outlined. The Thrawn trilogy kickstarted everything. They laid the foundations that Delray ran with. Uh, and they did a fantastic job with the license. So it's going to be interesting to see. Um, which way people go in the comments, uh, like if we see more Delray supporters or more Bantam supporters, I'm not sure what we're going to see, but I'm very excited uh, to see uh, what people are going to be saying in these comments uh, because it's really fascinating. It's really fascinating because there, there are differences and there's writers who wrote for Delray Star Wars books and Bantam Star Wars books, but um, they, they are different uh, and, and that's because writing styles change, you know, and so... Uh, Maybe Bantam, the prose feels a little older, but at the same time, timeless. Uh, it stood the test of time, at least to me. Um, Delray might feel a little more modern in some of the word choices, especially some of those post-2010 ones, um, like in word choice and style. Uh, but I really love Bantam Star Wars books and Delray Star Wars books. But Delray takes the cake for me. I like the Delray Star Wars books. I would say more than the Bantam Star Wars books. But uh, I leave the question to you guys. Which do you prefer? Let me know in the comments. I'm excited to see what everyone has to say.